Me, ESL, go for Heroes Cup number 13, and our blue team on the left side, they are Team Eryx's club. And we have Javion on stitches, Shawin playing Nazebo, Thodilov playing Jaina, Helios is on Rhaegar, and Bloody is playing the Demon Hunter. And on the right hand side, starting in the top lane, it is Massamora Liren. <laughs> That's a long name. That's got to be Max characters on the Diablo. It is going to be Tofu on the Tarande in the mid lane. It is going to be more uh, Maratal on the do uh, dodging the hook there, but he's going to be on the Zagara. And in the bot lane, heading up to the mid lane, is going to be Chucks or Chuckso on the Nova, and Wallow Wizard is on the Ufa. Yeah, and uh, they have that uh, two. 2-1-2 two, two setup, uh, which is mostly played in, in solo queue or oh, top uh, lane, tofu. games. And he's gone. <laughs> oh, that was quick. <laughs> he was. He, was quick. he got hooked and then decided to stand there, and then he died. Uh, let's see. Um, but they are all returning to that 2-1-2 two, two setup. Uh, interesting. Interesting. We'll have to see how it plays out. I, I really like the, th the triple stack, the party lane. I think yeah, it works it is, quite uh... a bit better. Indeed, it's what we see in a lot of the higher level games. For now, though, excuse me, Nova trying to trade with Valor a little better, and she's getting a few good shots off. And she also has the ambush snipe ability, so she's going to be dealing quite a bit of damage. However, staying decloaked most of the time, she's not actually going to be procking that very often at all. Yeah, but I think they're doing quite well here in this bot lane. Uh, Helios also took quite a bit of damage, so he can't really overextend down there, and uh, Walla Wizard just waiting to make a move, but. Soon gonna turn light, and they're already getting position for those first few seeds. Yep, there we are. Wall of Wizards going straight for those seeds. Grabbing yep. the easy seats here. And uh, same thing's happening upstairs. Uh, they're also grabbing the free seats first. Oh, Javi on a little bit out of position, but Kaudilov is behind him. Oh, nice hook there. But Maritol gets away, and he has the remainder of his team there to help out. So yep, it looks like they're not going for the Shambler straight away. For the moment, this does appear to be the case. Having a look at some of the talents we are seeing in this game, we've already mentioned Nova is running the ambush snipe, giving her the bonus damage when she snipes out of deep, out of cloak. Seasoned marksman being taken on to Rande. She is going for the ranged carry style of build, something we very rarely see due to the fact that most teams don't want a character who just sits in a lane all the time. However. Tofu running it this time, seeing what he can do with it. And Ufo of a very interesting and rare talent, the Blessed Champion, healing for 25% of damage dealt with auto attacks. Interesting. Okay, so is he, he's going to be a little bit more up close and personal. It's got to be. Um, and he, like Yeah, the there's stuff. Hammer of the Lightbringer, so that's health and mana for auto attacks. He's going to be very up in people's faces. I like this. Um, it's going to complement Diablo quite well. Yeah, it's going to help him get stay in there alive, uh, get those people. souls. It's true. Speaking of, uh, speaking of souls, Diablo starting off with the Soul Feast. For each soul, he gains an additional 5 health and 0.1 health regen. Choosing not to go for the... Uh, wait, it, no, increased number of souls is the, next, is the next talent. So yeah, he can still go for the tankiest possible build if he wants to. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna need tankiness, but uh, with Ufer choosing those talents, uh, it's gonna work out quite well. It's gonna give him two um, frontline, um, frontline heroes which can actually hold their ground. Um, see them picking up uh, those first few minions here, or uh, mercenaries rather. Go for both sides. Um, really want to gather a little bit more experience to catch up. And well, they're pretty close. I mean, both teams um, not really having massive advantage as far as the level is concerned. Yep, neither one getting a talent advantage for the moment. But, however, speaking of talents, once again, Jaina Starting off with the Frostbolt build, but has also taken in Venom as her level 4 talent. Good, a very aggressive talent to take against a to take against this enemy team, which makes a bit of sense because popping it on someone like Nova and Tarand, they're going to go down pretty quickly. So it, that does make quite a bit of sense. Yeah, um, I mean, they have a lot of burstiness on their team. You said it before, uh, Jaina, Vala. And Nazibo, that's going to be quite burst. Tofu in the top lane, once again, getting hooked in. The Blizzard does not kill him off this time, though. A Frostbolt from range could hit him, but Ooh. Diablo does tank it instead. And Tofu able to get away. Uh, Slam was still on cooldown. And uh, Tofu did get away. He will go back into lane now and uh, see what they can do. But 
looks like a little bit of a push coming out of Team Ariaxis. Yep, and uh, Diablo has actually gone for the tankiest possible build in the game. If you get full souls on this, you are the strongest Jeez, defensive character death. in the game. Yep, 150 souls, extra 5 health per soul, extra 0.1 health regen per soul. If he can get fully stacked, he is very hard to kill. And it is quite cool, but obviously this does mean you're going to have to lame for a bit. Shoin, actually Ooh, taking in trouble attack. there. Lost quite a bit of health here. Uh, Good combination here. Nice synergies between Shoin and Kogelov. Going for that zombie wall. Ooh. Ooh nice. Nice. nice hit. Um, <laughs> going for the zombie wall and then going for, for the blizzard as a follow up. That uh, worked out quite well for them. I'd like to see that in action a little bit later. Yeah, it is true. In the top lane currently, Javoin taking a bit of damage is going to get stunned here. Diablo and Tehran trying to pick him off, but. He is just a bit too tanky for the moment to run. Clearly doesn't have enough season marksman stacks. Currently, only nine bonus damage uh, for her, which uh, isn't huge, but she is, it is still bonus damage. For now, though, bloody running into Diablo. No one actually gets hit by any abilities there. Yeah, and they're kind of pushing them out of the Shambler. I like this. I like this play. Uh, Shuxu just has that holo decoy there um, to help out a little bit, but they're rotating down, going for the bottom Shambler. Uh, quickly realizing they can't really do anything about this if they don't have the whole team there. And Rega still taking mid lane uh, alongside Bloody. Uh, maybe they can do something about this Shandle down here, but I kind of doubt it. Both teams really close to level 10. Um, Eryx is only already half their level 10. So it would be kind of dangerous right now for uh, our Unitar to go in there. And I doubt they're actually doing it. Yeah. Yep. Both teams have their seats ready. And let's see who's gonna jump into it. Oh, Stitches seems to be the one to take control uh, of the Chambler here. Yep, and on the other side, it is Zagara. Zagara making a bit more sense than Stitches, I'd say. Like, for the team of, uh... For the team of Erex, I would say maybe put, uh... Maybe put Nazibo in it, because that, you're not losing out on any huge pushing potential there. Rhaegar, good timing with the Central Healing Hammer. There comes a straight from Bloody. Helios goes down to the full composition of, uh... Of Unitar here, Unitar backing out now, taking oh, huge Tofu damage. Blizzard and Ravenous Spirit doing massive damage. The Polymorph hits two people. Dow goes Wallow Wizard as well. Marsh Aurelion is going to be able to back out, but Bloody taking quite a bit of damage from Ufa Ghost, but that's not going to be enough. We've actually saw Tofu disconnect and reconnect there, but he is back and ready. Bulb goes down directly next to <laughs> next to Nova and forces her to actually stop backing. Pretty sure that was just an instinctive reaction of, oh god, there's an ability next to me, I have to move. But wouldn't have actually stopped her being anyway. Now the problem with uh, Master's build is that he actually has to play a little bit more cautiously than you would usually see Diablo. Since he doesn't want to lose those souls. And that actually counts quite a bit in those... Ma uh, Ooh, those Cordy. Oh, Cordy! He needs to watch out. One more shot. And the the shells. Owl! Ooh, nice one snipe. Will hit. One snipe will Can't do it. Snipe something free. Never mind, that'll do. <laughs> yep. Fr Easy Frost, though, does get shocked and it's able to, uh, able to stop him, but doesn't really do much damage to deal with him. Meantime, Diablo currently beating the crap out of the bulb in the bottom lane, and Devon making the most of what's left his plant terrorist duration to do as much damage as possible. He should have enough time to throw one more bulb down if Diablo hadn't tackled him. Great timing there, interrupting the bulb place animation so that there was no more going down. And now is going very heavily onto, onto Javon here. Wallow Wizard is there with him, going to be able to drop healing down, especially with the amplified healing talent that Marshmallion does have. We have double sprint now. We have Nazibo and Jaina taking sprint, and the Mega Smash on Stitches, uh, Stormcaller on Rhaegar, and Giant Killer on Vala. Yep, this is the case. The Giant Killer on Vala is the most interesting one, because this is usually the place you'd see Frost Shots taken. So, oh wow! Oh, Zagar. nice more. Oh, incredible yeah. more. Ooh, uh, there comes the follow up. Oh, the follow up comes in. Helios is healed back up. Nice timing on that on that ancestral And Tofu, can he get out? Slightly revamped, might help him. That's a lot of damage coming down. Somehow, no one has died yet. Javon is gonna change that. There were Nova sniping Valor from the excuse me, hiccups from the side as well. And there is the and there are two kills there for Team Unitard. Great turnaround. Great That was an amazing fight. Uh, Marita going for that uh, for that ball. And then Asa with a perfect lightning breath to save his teammate. Really incredible work here by Team Unitard. Yeah, that almost went very on its head though. 
when the enemy team just turned around and suddenly was like, oh, there's a ravenous spirit and a strafe all being dropped onto our head, but Nova. Able to take that Rhaegar here as well, but it was, Wait, was did able to take. Down in, in bot lane, or where was yeah, Rhaegar? Rhaegar went down in bot, Nova just sort of went up straight up to the fort and just shot him in the face. Weird. And that is Nova Yay. For now, though, nighttime has started and we're seeing uh, Team Unitard getting the seed advantage, forcing Bloody far away from his uh, far away from these bot lane seeds, going up to join his team in the top lane. Eric's going to try and get a terror there, and both teams have got a terror, but instead of just grabbing seeds as much as possible. You want to try to deny as much seeds uh, on the opposing team. I don't think it's going to happen here. Um, looks like both teams will almost finish up their chamber at the same time. Yep, they will. And didn't want to really risk anything by going in there too early. Tofu was the one clearing this lane uh, in the meantime. Really good job, because they um, did have to face some bruisers there. Oh, did they go for a steal here? Yeah, nice move. Um, yep. Eryx is, went for a steal on the bruisers, and they're gonna start wailing away uh, at that top four. Yep, this is the case for now, though. Chux is gonna be playing defensively, trying to scare away Shoin and Court. He loves you. But luckily, they are backing out, and he's just gonna help Tofu in clearing this outcome. Let's have a check in on Tofu. On 23 bonus damage with his stacks is pretty awesome. Mart uh, Marstall is in the bot lane at the moment. Sorry, Myrtle is in the bot lane at the moment. With that plant terror, going to be wailing on that bottom keep. Oh, nice he's pot. bullying nice him. Very they didn't really do anything about it, but now he's completely oh, out of it. Strafe. And looks like he's going to be hit by that entire strafe. Oh, oh, nice mob, but a little bit too late. Uh, Hilly's got yeah. the final blow there. But, yep, uh, it's already still... invented. Died to the poison in the end. Very good job there. Nice more, like you said, if he'd been able to pop it a bit earlier, he had a good chance of surviving. Oh, Shoin might go down here. Yep, slammed right into the orbital blast. Good job by Massa. And I gotta say, I mean, these teams are quite even. Yes. But they're not handling the, the Planet Terror uh, just too well. Nadia might be in trouble here. He's the only one there. Massa and Tofu on his back. And Shuxo runs in, but misses him. There's another slam on the backside. And Lightning Breath. Oh, oh. And says, nice. really helps him out quite a bit. Good job here by Helios, keeping his teammate alive. Yep, he's been really good with the timing on these ancestral healings, able to keep, like you said, his team alive. Bloody for the moment, heading up to these to this uh, siege camp, going to help his team take those. He has taken the blood for blood for that extra survivability there, to and for that extra burst damage when he does go in. We have mentioned didn't take the frost shots earlier, so he does have a bit less kiting potential, but still. That giant killer is going to be very helpful against the raid boss Diablo, who, we mentioned earlier, is at full stacks, baby. 150, oh, yes, wow. 6,720 6, health currently, and I can't actually see his health regen. Yes. Uh, well, I wish you could hit C and see the stats. That would be amazing. Yeah, I guess. Well, actually. Oh, no, it doesn't We can't. Not in this obs. Like, that's yeah, how it works in game, but can. we are or observers. Or we can't just hit C. Wait, hang on. V, C, damn it! <laughs> Worth nice try. <laughs> oh, nice hook here on Tamarito. And she get away to this Oh, the out. Good I'm more. gonna help and though. There's strafe, the and she still, still gets it. Wow. That was nice. Strafing over, sorry, vaulting over the moor, popping the strafe, able to take him down. Great play by Bloody there. And now they're gonna be moving on to the core. Eric's pushing in hard, but nice combo here. Stop. Have position. Shuxo might be in trouble, but that was always a hologram. Oh, that comes a good. Oh, that's not what you do. Don't hook an Uber into your team. He did go down, however. And now we are seeing Team Unitard backing away. They do not want to get caught out here. And they are backing up, trying not to get themselves picked up. Diablo on his way down finally to join the rest of his team. He does have Lightning Breath up, and he has the double overpower, so he can drop quite a bit of CC in these fights. Yeah, I think that's the one one big issue that Unitard has here is so far they're not really sticking to any nice team. Um, you often see these two heroes just by themselves, and that's that's the moment that Ariex just strikes and they just go in and pick off these solo heroes. And it's just they're making it a little bit too easy on them. Yeah, this is true. For now, though, having a look at some of the talents, Stitches has taken the mini stun here and the increased radius on uh, increased range and arc on his slam ability. 
So he is going to be attempting to lock down as many members of the team of Unitard as possible. Whereas uh, Unitard responding with Diablo running relentless, so he's not going to be CC'd for very long at all, continuing the whole raid boss theme. And he has the double overpower, like I said earlier. Just going to be very scary. If he gets on you, he's going to be locking you down for a good few seconds. Tofu, not able to get the Bruiser Camp, as the Terrors were both taken, did not tap it before they were tapped. Oh jeez, Diablo's out of the game. No, he's, he's back. back in there. He's back in there. I was, I was saying, I mean, he was standing still for quite a while. But he's back, and... Ready to get back into the fray, ready to get back into the action. Oh, Ooh, nice move, but bloody oh. does get away. And there comes the ancestral healing. Yeah, right. this is the combo they want to do. Ravenous Spirit coming in from the back, but it's hitting the raid boss Diablo. He doesn't really care that much. Blood for Blood gets dropped on him to try and burst him down, but it's not going to happen. He does get Polymorph though, and it's just going to turn onto the bomb. Now he's going full ham onto the Plant Terror. Ooh, plant Terror. actually slammed that back. Nice off the Yeah, he's smashing it down and stitches. Kicked out of that, the amount of CC, the fact you can CC the Blood Terror like that is pretty effective. I'd like to point out, the Blood Terror has about 12k health. Diablo has about half the health of a Plant Terror right now. Uh, that's, uh, so he that's has more than half massive. the health. He has 7k health now. <laughs> oh, wow. He leveled uh, up. Stitches, and now by the way, to more. compare this, has 5,700 health. Yeah, 2k more health than Stitches. And Stitches is okay. usually considered one of the most tanky characters in the game. Plant Terror... Continuing to p continuing to do massively damaging things in the bottom lane. Already taken down a fort. Oh, However, in trouble now being ganged up on. Only one oh, there comes the hook onto him, and he drops he out. Escape? Nope, he that's that misplaced mark. Hey, yeah. <laughs> good, to, good to find Storm there, able to interrupt the strafe. Precision Strike does not land on anyone. Wallow Wizard trying to back out here. Lands the stun onto Jerome, but nice accessible healing going to keep him alive. And now the the Lightning Breath is able to lower Valor enough for Nova and Tarande to take her out. But Tarande does get hooked. She goes down as well. It is now going to be Diablo and Nova backing up here. Diablo needs to get away, but I don't think he can do it. He still has 2k health out of this. He has about as much health as a normal Nova just, <laughs> just left over here. And he's going to back out and keep himself alive. Jux. Also looking for an opportunity though, might be able to pick off Shoin. No, misses the snipe, and he's going to be backing up. Yeah, a little bit too dangerous. Uh, they're going to steal these, uh, going to steal these seed shines, but it shouldn't be too much of an issue here since two of their heroes are down as well, and Zagaro is about to pop back up. So is Uther. Rana is going to wait a little bit longer to get back to the fray, but maybe they can steal even more camps here. It looks like Javion is going for that Bruiser camp. And Shaxo, is he coming in? He's looking for it. He uses the holographic vision. A little bit too dangerous, I say. Oh, precision strike. Oh, nice precision strike. He's so team trapped with the zombie ball, but it's just going to wrap a spirit over the wall and chase him down. He does have the specialized toxin, so the poison's doing a lot, but he just wasn't really chasing properly. Just sort of right clicked on him and let the let the AI take over, and that didn't really work. And that because of that, Chunks is able to survive and get to his get to his Horde of the Storms to heal up. In the meantime, we are going to see Zagara clearing up this bottom wave. And uh, interesting choice. For the level 4 talent, she took Medusa Blades, meaning that she fires three auto... Uh, she fires an extra two auto attacks that do 25% of damage. Sorry, uh, her auto, all of her auto attacks do 25% of her normal damage as she fires three of them. Nice. Alright, level 20 talents are coming in. Uh, we have Bolt of the Storm on Jaina. Nexus Frenzy on Valor, which increases her attack speed and range by 20%. And the Storm Shield by Rhaegar. Regenerative Bile is taken for Stitches and Annihilating Spirit, um, of course, for Nazibo. Yep, and on the side and on the other side right now, we have the Precision Barrage from Nova. So that's going to be the two Precision Strikes. Tarande, yet to make a decision. She has some of the most, uh, some of the biggest options when it comes to her talent. So it makes sense for her not to have picked hers yet. Divine Hurricane coming out of Ufa. The Tyrant Moor coming out of Zagara, rather than the Bolt of the Storm we'd usually see for safety, and the extra bonus damage and range on the light, sorry, just bonus duration and range on the Lightning Breath out of the Apple. Damn it. Um, Tyrande, or rather Tofu, just disconnected, so um, it was auto-picked. Um, Celestial Wrath was auto-picked. Still fine. Dam uh, damage increased by 30% is still pretty decent. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Um, I'm just saying, I mean, he's being controlled by a bot right now, so really wants to get back into the action here. Yep, uh, this talking is... about action. They're already wailing away at this top four. Javion took it down, and they're still going for the shadow there, so lots of seeds coming in. It's gonna be the next stun turn straight away if they wanna go for it. 
And Javian's still at it. Yeah, the rest of his team is now here with him. Tarande bot does get polymorphed. No mercy for the bot. Tarande gets slowed and she does get wiped out by the strafe. And now the plant terror is pushing into the base of Team Unitard here. Diablo gets polymorphed. Not able to flip the terror over the wall or anything similar. Precision Strike does not land on anything except the terror, which will go down now. Ravenous Spirit from over the wall is going to be chasing onto Zagara, but Zagara just tanking it all doesn't really mind that much. But the turn onto Bloody, Bloody, and he survives. He's backing up, though. Uber's able to pick him off with the Divine Hurricane. Lightning Breath is doing huge damage, but the Ancestral Healing will save Shoin, and Javian is able to back up. That is a two for one. But they were able to take down Valor, who is one of the main damage dealers here. However, that's not gonna that must not be the fight. Oh, so Javier Javier is trapped down, down there. The the Can he get him. away? I don't think so, but the good healing. Oh my god, the vile vile destroys the Gara. And now Marsh uh now Massa trying to back up, gets a heal from Ufa, and that will allow him to survive, gets out the 1.5k health. And this is gonna be the opportunity for Team Erics to push in the top lane. They've already taken down the keep. Mm, don't think they'll go for the core here. Looks like they're going to go for the mid for mid keep instead and get more catapults. Their planter is also available, so they can be back to get that. In fact, they're going to be now because Javian, once again, getting caught out a bit by Ufa, but able to play it safe. Ufa gets hooked, but not really much follow-up. Ufa dangerous. That. Uh, Divine Hurricane was available again. But at least not his entire team was around him, so I guess it's still okay. Uh, so go into that gun terror. They still have 30 seconds it's to decide. And Bloody is not the one. Yep, it's the speed back to base. Oh, it's again. It. But well, first, they're going for the siege camp. Um, good thing, Unitard not sleeping either, going for their uh, siege camp as well. Uh, Bruiser camp was, of course, uh, still down. And then, let's see, mid lane. I'm thinking mid lane fights here. I think mid lane fights as well. Both teams are now full five members alive and are grouping up. Bloody! Almost burst out by Valor Precision Strike! Oh. Does hit, but the essential healing heals up and the shield was enough to protect him from the damage. Massa going very aggressive onto this plant terror and still gets polymorphed on the very lip of the Spore Queen's curse. He is going to be backing up, but that's not going to stop him dropping any CC. Does get polymorphed that time. Divine Hurricane, though, catches most people. Precision Strike does that of course, but the bolt is going to be able to protect him. I don't think that more hit anyone, but the lightning is able to take down Bloody. Great job there. Diablo immune to the polymorph while he's in lightning breath is now going on to Javion. They were able to take down Nazibo and Valor here. Javion is going to be popped out of that plant terror by Chucks. No, he isn't actually. Sprint is going to be alive away. out the face. Chucks is not giving up on this, able to snipe him out of it. And that was a good fight for Team Unitard. Yeah, really good fight. And I've got to say, I mean, uh, Masa was playing a really, really good Diablo here. I think that's the best use of lightning breath I've seen in quite some time. Um, Using it quite, quite well um, in at least two of these fights. Yeah. The other point we'd like to, I'd like to mention here, is he's the only person in the game who has yet to die, which is perfect for him. <laughs> Gotta so keep those stacks. That... Gotta keep those stacks up. Yep. You really don't want to die now. I mean, uh, like their whole, uh, their whole build depends upon um, Diablo and keeping his stacks. Once he dies now, uh, this is actually going to throw him off quite a bit in the team fights. This is true. Like, the second he dies, he's suddenly down by, I think, like, 1 or 2k health. It's a huge yeah. amount he drops by. So, yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit of a pickle if that does happen. So, he needs to keep himself alive. Ufra has been great on this, part, on this front. I'm going to look at the damage counts right now. Stitches and Valor leading the damage counts pretty massively with 4.4k on Valor. 4.2k on uh, Nazibo, sorry, I got mixed up with Nazibo and Stitches there. Yeah, Nazibo 4.2k. Stitches, not very far behind though, with 35k. Nova on the other team is 40k. She's been doing a great job of bursting people down. She hasn't got the kill every time, but she has been dropping very large damage and putting the fear of, well, stealth in the eyes of Team Eric's. Yeah, and 80,000 healing on Rhaegar. Wow. The healing. He doing a is fantastic. on top of his game tonight. Yep, great job by Helios. He's been very on point with those ancestral healings. Chuck's gonna be being out now, somehow, just on the lip of that far sight, able to not be seen being. Very, very lucky there with that B positioning. Planter is available for Team Unitard here, but they're gonna leave it till the last second. At least I feel they're gonna leave it till the last second. They need to grab it. It's only got 11 seconds left. We need about six uh, seconds, I think, to channel it. Come well, on, come on, fellas. 
That, that's oh, it. They're just leaving it. it. Let it go. Oh. Diablo's going for it. Uh, nope. Rap okay. freeze here. I guess it's fine. Diablo I think it's, it might stop actually once you click on it or something. I no, mean. I think it's only like freeze. Or just seconds. channels it. quicker. Yep. So yeah, now both teams have their Garden Terror available now. And it's going to be a mid lane fight uh, here. Diablo only getting a measly 21,000 health here. <laughs> Rubbish. <Yeah. laughs> well, usually as God. So the problem with this is we have the double raid boss now. So Diablo can play as aggressively as he likes with this plant terror because it has huge amounts of health. And the second he pops out of it, he's still going to have all of his health left. And he is ready for that. There's the curse coming down, does get Helios. And now he's going to focus most of his efforts on trying to damage down Javion in this plant terror. Tofu does get Scorpion's Queen's curse. There's a strafe interrupted by the right hurricane. And down goes Valor, instantly destroyed. Ravenous Spirit coming from the, the back, but has to cancel it to dodge out the way of that Devouring Moor. And very good job from that. But that was still a one for zero trade in favor of Team Unitard. And now they're chasing down this plant terror. There's giants in the top lane, but they are now being focused down as well, thanks to Tyrande and the Lunar Flare. And Unitard defending their base pretty well. If they can kill off maybe one more person, they would have a chance to go through and maybe charge through an enemy keep to the core. Yeah, uh, counter play is definitely a possibility here, but I think they're gonna need to get uh, Stitches or Rhaegar to make it happen. Davion is quite low now, so if they get him once he pops out, pretty cool. But so far they still have to handle all that aggression uh, coming out of the Garden Terror. And, I mean, it's, it's quite dangerous. They still have catapults to deal with, and that's why Wall Wizard and Maritel had to head back here. And they're playing this really safe. I like it quite a bit. Unitark really doing a good job defending so far. And they still have quite a few seconds left on their Garden Terror. Yep, I will say though, Tyrande has actually managed to, while this game's going on, uh, increase her stack count by quite a bit. Currently on 53 stacks of that Season Marksman, which is a decent amount of bonus damage. So she's doing a good amount of damage for our team. We can actually have a quick look and see that Tyrande currently on 31k damage, which is only 7k less than Stitches, quite a bit more, 10k more than Zagara. Who is doing quite a bit? Of, has been doing quite a bit of damage this game, so not bad at all. It's working out for it. It's only gonna get a catching up even quicker as the game goes on. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, she's playing this really well. Uh, they're going for the boosters. Uh, it looks like it's really safe to do so. Um, Nova could do a little bit of a better job to scout things out. I think that's one thing they're currently missing out on. Just a little bit of map out, that, though. Um, using precision, Nova using precision strike to help her take this uh, this bottom easy cab. She will be able to take it down at the cost of quite a bit of her health and apparently one stack of her ult. Using her hologram to tank it, she is able to take it down. So um, the stacks on, on Precision Strike, do they um, restack even though you haven't used all of them? Yeah, it recharges. Okay. It doesn't show the animation of how long the charge has okay, to go. Exactly, okay, that's what I thought. Which is a little bit Just making sure. But uh, uh, people are working with it. Yeah, so again, both teams will go for a Garden Terror. Um, I think Unitark might actually have a few more seats this time, but oh uh, well, maybe not. See, Zagara is waiting to get in there. And, and we need goes. the team they of Unitark need to, need to be very quickly. We are seeing. Oh, well, there's a hook onto a siege, onto uh, the siege giants that Nova took earlier. But the team of Eryx are all grouped up near this bottom keep. They want to try and engage onto it, but they realize. Yeah, we don't know where the enemy team is. We're going to have to be. They're probably back here defending us or getting ready to rush our base. We gave away our position by attacking that Siege Giant camp. So now we are seeing Team Unitard pushing out of their base. They're feeling a bit more confident now and are going to look for the opportunity to maybe go on a counter push or at least fight Javion in his plant terror. terror yeah, they, they, it's kind of funny because uh, Ariex has seemed to realize, oh, uh, we're actually missing a Garden Terror. Um, because they were already already set up and ready to go uh, for that bot lane, and then, oh wait, Javion, you need to be in the Garden Terror to actually attack here. <laughs> and, and there they are now, oh, Wall of Wizards being scouted out, Mortal coming from the sides, and ooh, Masmo trying to lure him in a little bit further, and now that Mayor is there to join the fray, I think they can finally go for it and keep them out of their base. Ooh, Chuck's out. Yeah, Nova's been doing some pretty more. decent harass. She's only on three stacks of her gathering power, but still dropping speech damage. Ravenous Spirit from over the wall. Nazibo doesn't actually have gathering power at all. This is just a base Ravenous Spirit plus the extra ultimate 
and doesn't actually pick anyone off. Everyone's still at pretty much full health, in fact, but that's about to change. Lightning Breath coming out from the Abra. Precision Strike onto the Divine nice Hurricane. Strafe has been up, used. Precision Strike onto the Strafing Valor, but she will be able to escape. Well, the Strafe didn't do all that much. She had to actually retreat out of it, but um, at least it stopped the Onslaught. Just Mesa uh, with that Lightning Breath tried to get it started, but the Wallow should have used the. Uh, Hurricane a little bit sooner, and then uh, Massive could have done massive damage here. Gabby Old overextended it quite a bit, I mean, uh, he's completely out of, out of his range there. Uh, looks like they're backing no off deaths. just in time. In, the, in this fight, these two teams very evenly matched. However, 25 is about to be hit by Team Erex at the moment, and they're going to look for their opportunity to maybe try it and get some engagement there when they have that little bit of health boost. However, that's not going to stop te that's not going to stop team unitard who are still just continuing to clear waves playing it safe near their base not letting anything go down they've lost two keeps so they have two lanes to defend they need to just play patiently get mercenaries when they can so they don't give away too much and get ready to try and snipe some kills which can give them the game if they can kill enough people off that they can just rush the base oh, oh snipes. <laughs> that was a nice bolt that was a very nice ball. Able to pick off, uh, no, yeah, able to pick off no one there. We're just seeing so many close calls, but Ufa gets hooked in. Divine Hurricane oh, does go there down. It goes down. There that was a perfect one. hurricane. And oh, the it, but Wally was a team That's so it. close. All of the time. Wow, that was insanity. Just so much damage. Such a lot of time. Wow. And yep. Wally not doing all that much. Only Bloody Pot in there. There's all quite low. He's get out of the fight. Shark Soul. Lightning Grim. Kill the Jada! Jada goes down in the background. Valor goes down! This could be the defense they needed. Diablo coming back from the death with his souls. And now it is going to be Nova chasing down Javion. And she, Javion does go down with the help of Tarande. They are chasing onto Shoin. He's the only one left on the team of Erex. Diablo has healed up. It. He's going to defend their core. Oh, there comes the stun. And Shoin. Come on, Shark Soul. Good one more snipe. Yep, that's but yeah, it. that's everyone down. However, they don't want to take they don't seem to want to take the risk of rushing the enemy base instead they're just grabbing seeds getting ready for a plant terror we're they're seeing for the long haul i'm telling you we're seeing Tarande. she's actually going in for the push she's just going to push this wave up and try and get something and just kill off the catapults at least however everyone else respawning diablo's in the base restacking he's already back up to 100 so he has another resurgence up but um he's just clearing the waves making sure his core doesn't take damage ufa is now alive However, the entire team of uh, the entire team of Erex is going to be respawning soon. Rhaegar's already up. Latest one up will be Nazibo, but still 24 seconds, which is about as much time as it will take uh, Team Unitard to kill this top Terra. That's kind of weird. I think they could have maximized um, their potential here. I mean, with an entire team killed, you really want to steal a lot of seeds or um, even get a fort or a keep down, but I don't know. Um, how many seats did they actually get? Um, I think they, they, nine of they them. got most of them, basically. Yeah. The, the only thing they didn't get is the bottom actual terror itself. If they rolled down so, as a team, they still have a chance. Yeah, that's, that's actually not too bad. I mean, the Garden Terror is just a, such a massive potential for, for aggression for you. They're now going to steal those boozers and then just go for the Garden Terror straight after. I think that could actually work, but then again, they're also down to just the core, so makes it really hard to go for counter-aggression if you always have to keep that in mind that you need to stay back and possibly defend. It's true, and once again, we are seeing Team Unitard leaving their terror till the very last moment so that they have the maximum duration out of it. Diablo finally taking it, going to be moving to the mid lane, will use the bulb to kill the two giants there and regroup with his team. No terror available for Team Erics at the moment. They are attempting to go for the sneaky, sneaky backdoor, or at least the sneaky, sneaky Zagara. Midi stun does go oh, down. Wallow is it right? Hurricane, so he's about to Hurricane. nice to Or Marcel goes down to the zombie wall, though, and Ufa follows suit. We're now seeing Marcel coming in, trying to get a good engagement. Joint able to sprint out of that precision strike, and this is looking very bad for the team of Unitard. Ancestral healing able to keep Javion alive, and now Chucks is the wrong side of the team. We do see the totem go down. Precision Strike gonna hit most people. Chuck's trying to charge his way through, but the Ravenous Spirit does catch him. However, Nazibo gives his life for it. Ring of Frost hitting Massa. Tofu in the back, looking for his opportunity to try to get oh, something going. Javion has come out Javion as down. well. And Cody might be in trouble. She's really low already. And the Massa's slow, the kiting. 
Polymorph does not land. The stun lands, though, and that should be it. Down he goes. The Terror will continue chasing down. There's very little kiting potential left, but that's not going to stop them from trying. And wow, Tofu, very, very nice stun there. Really, really great turnaround helping his team there. Having a look, quick look at the damage count while we have a quick bit of, quick bit of respite. Durande is now catching up on 38k hero damage. Still ahead of Zagara. And uh, finally, the damage count has been topped by Nova, who's hit 76k hero damage. Tirana actually has 58,000. 58,000, yes, sorry. Uh, 50, I got to mix that up. 58,000. Lots of damage. And... That's uh, about the same as Valor. Valor only has 59,000. Yeah. Stitches so, with 54. That is insane. Nazibo with 69. Cool build by Tirana. Yep. And Rhaegar, 137,000 healing. <laughs> that's a lot of healing. Yeah, that's uh, more than the other two combined. This is true. This is very true. Very good job by a lot of the players in this game. And like you said, this game's going for the long haul. Both teams looking for, looking for their opportunity to strike. And Eric's have just been like charging this base and like, we're gonna get a retreat. We're gonna get, oh God. They can't get the good fight to get. Uh, they keep picking off like two or three people, but it always happens I when there's a hard I think it always comes down to uh, Diablo still being alive and he's har so hard to pick off. And once he's alive, it's too hard to just go for the core. He has um, 150 the... souls again. He's back at full tankiness. He has 9k health right now. The... Even so, even so, even if he is still alive, I think next time they should just go for the core, because he's not going to dish out the damage or even have to see like to control will. them. The lightning breath. Like, that's what happened the first time they tried to dive it. True, true. <laughs> they still think it's possible. I mean, they're going to lose two heroes. It's, it's quite risky, but... Hey, high risk, Damian, high reward, right? Damian vision has been gained of him. Nova spots him there, looking for his opportunity to hook Barca. Was thinking about possibly engaging onto him there, but no. Martel gets hooked again. This keeps happening. Zombie Wall going to be slowing down the escape route. And Martel keeps being the one to pick up. Nice oh, to and Port, though. Nice, nice. Maw. Really yeah. good Maw, but Martel needs to get out of there, and so does the rest of the team. So it's not like it's going to do all that much uh, strafe use, but not really doing all that much either. But now it's the entire team going for the core, or are they turning around again? They've got to turn around. They, they, are. they used Strafe and they used, uh, yeah, they used Strafe in that fight. They don't want to engage that when all ultimates are up except for the Varang Moor. It's just not worth the risk. Yep. That's true. Um, oh, no. Oh, Ooh, there's the Unitar coming, coming in once again. Like there's the Lightning Trap. Holy crap, he's, he's still down. alive. What Hello. an ancestor who yeah. really is really atop this game. Follow Wizard doesn't get out this time. And he tries to turn it around, but looks like they're all backing off. Only losing stitches in that fight, which uh, is probably the starting point here to just back out of that fight. Yeah, really one, wisely done. Right one for one. Ufa for stitches, and those were the two that basically stood there and punched each other while in Diablo's lightning breath. For now, though, the Tyrande has bead back as well as Maratel to deal with the giants attacking their core. They do actually take quite a bit of core damage, and this is going to, at this point, be how Eric's wins by just sheer attrition. We're going to keep you in your base forever, and if you ever come out, our mercenaries or our minions will eventually kill you. Yeah, uh, that's that's the biggest issue here. I mean, if they wouldn't have lost those keys so early, I think they could have already won this game, but right now it's, it's still going. Yeah, and we're at 38 bad. minutes. It's one of the longest games I've seen. This is true. We're actually approaching level 28 from at the side of uh, Team Unitard, who have actually managed to get themselves a level lead while this is going on. Managed there, to sneak there is out. a max level, right? Level 30 is the max level. Yeah, 30 is the max level. That's what I thought. I've never actually seen a game go to 30. Right. I don't... I, I have no idea. I've only ever done it in primary mode, so I have no idea if it's possible. But we may find out. However, they're having to spend a lot of time defending their base. Eight, and seven, they were actually um, really just centered around defending, so couldn't get any more seats, and they're missing eight seats to go for that Terra. And I think they should really, really think about going for it. But right now, still stuck in base, still kind of scared of that Garden Terra, and it's coming in. Ariax not waiting any longer. They're making the move. It's basically going to be a, we're going to right-click the core and hope it works out. Diablo, once again, slowing it down, trying to delay as much as possible. All ultimates are up. Devouring more, actually. They're very grouped up. Would be good here. Divide Hurricane. Oh, what a wizard! There's a once again. Going to be able to take out someone here. Maybe not, yeah. actually. Gala and Shine went down. Helios might go down, but nope. Helios is coming in once However, again. However, 
Cruelty Loves yeah, is just on there. the core. He's trying to just base race this, tanking everyone. Stitches, Hoops Ufa, who is the main CC. Cruelty is just tanking everything. He'd go for the core, and that will be GG. No! Yep, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Wow, that last minute overpowered, but Javian came in, so even if they could have uh, somehow blocked out Cody, uh, it wouldn't have been enough. But really, really amazing. Yeah, it, it um, gets to the point eventually where it's like, okay, it's ridiculous. Right click, go. <laughs> and that's what happened. Like, his entire team died, and he didn't care. Just went straight for the core and just right clicked it, and that was enough. You just get so tanky and do so much damage in the objective, in the plant terror, in the dragon knight in the end. And to be honest, I think they could have done that a little bit earlier if they wanted. Possibly, but we saw what happened a couple of times, and most of the times they could have done it. Uh, Team Unitard did actually have the uh, did actually have the plant terror of their own. Yeah, that's true. I think this was the only time where they where they didn't get a planet terror of a plant terror. Yeah. Okay.